Now, looking in、uh, AS biology in this particular chapter, there are some examples of enzymes which you need to know. In the first part, they split it up into two bits, which is called intracellular and extracellular enzymes. There are two types, and as the name implies, intracellular meaning that it's within the cell, extracellular means that it's released out of the cell.、Um, there are a few examples of in this particular bit. It will be the catalase. Catalase is a very important enzyme because、um, it breaks down hydrogen peroxide that is produced、uh, through normal metabolism in your in your body. And hydrogen peroxide, being extremely toxic, needs to be broken down quickly into water and oxygen、um, so that it doesn't harm our body. So as I mentioned earlier, hydrogen peroxide is produced by metabolic reactions within the cells. So if we have catalase as an extracellular Enzyme, it wouldn't be quick enough if we have to wait for it to be transported into the cell and then break it down. By then, the cell would be destroyed. So therefore, it's important that catalase is an extracellular enzyme, so they can do that. Now, extracellular enzymes will be the ones that are released out of the cell. They're first made within the cell through protein synthesis, transcription, and translation, and then、uh, packaged and processed, released outside the cell. There are two specific examples, and they are both、uh, digestive enzymes. So one is amylase, and the other one is trypsin. Amylase breaks down starch to maltose. You can find two different forms of amylase: one in the mouth,、uh, which has a pH seven, and one in,、uh, released by the pancreas, which has a p- works at about pH eight. Whereas trypsin breaks down proteins into amino acids. Now, if we have imagine amylase and trypsin being intracellular,、uh, that These reactions will not occur at all because when we eat all these stuff, it's going into our stomach and then through our small intestine for them to be digested and absorbed. If amylase and trypsin are inside the cells, they won't be able to actually have access to the food which is outside of the cell. So therefore, they must be secreted in order for the digestion process to actually occur.